Australia's gold rush of 1885 happened here in the wilds of the far northwest, heady days now largely forgotten. These days the remote town of Halls Creek has a different, more troubling obsession to deal with. It's the middle of the afternoon and most of these Aborigines have been drinking for several hours. My name is Big Mama Hassan Sahelan. It's not an isolated incident. This passes for normal in this quiet cattle town and it's consuming the lives of many. It's a huge problem in Halls Creek and the fact of the matter is it's, it's not getting better. It's just getting worse and it's, it's just out of control. Unlike the neighbouring town of Fitzroy Crossing two hours away, Halls Creek has no restrictions on alcohol. From noon every day, any adult can buy full-strength alcohol from liquor stores. When night comes, the full effect of the non-stop drinking can be seen. It often ends in drunkenness and sometimes violence and increasingly suicide. Faced with limited opportunities, many young people are killing themselves, often after drink and drug binges. This girl is 16. She says she had drunk six large cans of beer and some spirits. Normal for her and normal to live among the suicides. Yeah, but grog do make people have suicide, you know? Yeah. No more grog next year. And like, it make them like have accident, you know, and make them do hang, hang themselves. Grog is what they call alcohol. Some estimates suggest that in the last two years, as many as 200 young people have killed themselves in alcohol-related incidents. Yeah, I lost a bit of opportunities and uh, I can't help drinking. That's the thing that's in the main life of young people, drinking. You know, that's one thing that stops all of us from doing what we want to do. Excessive drinking is hitting women as well as men, and in addition to suicides, it has led to something called fetal alcohol syndrome, when babies are affected in the womb of an alcoholic mother. It's a life sentence for our children, for our babies. These children will have brain damage, it will affect their learning, their ability to learn, it will affect their ability to work, it's said that half the Aboriginal community in the region are affected in some way by fetal alcohol syndrome and this is having dire consequences. We're looking at a large cohort of our children and our future leaders going to jail before they have any contribution to come back into our society. And their contribution to society will be, you know, constant uh, uh, violence, uh, constant, you know, um, incidences of burglary or just the inability to conform with some social norms in that community. At the end of the day, you know, that's the way it is and people just think that's a normal thing and they just don't want to um, stop the grog because they just can't stop it. When Kevin Rudd became Prime Minister, he apologised to Aborigines for past government-inflicted suffering. For Australia, sorry seemed to be the hardest word. Positive action may prove harder. Tony Bertley, Al Jazeera, Halls Creek, Western Australia.